Well, hey! Watch out where you toss those! He's just being a spoil sport. All right, Venus. Now, I know you're still learning, but how about you try to hit me with that next one and not someone who isn't even part of the game? All right. You want to see me toss a real home run? Uh, wrong sport, dude. But I like the enthusiasm. Go for it. Ouch! God, what's the deal, Venus? I don't want to play with you two, so you hit me with an asteroid? What's the matter, Mars? Are you afraid I'll hit one of your moons? Oh, is that what this is about? You're jealous that I have two moons and you don't have any? I'd rather have no moons than have the lamest ones in the entire solar system! All right, that one went too far. I thought I could just leave you and Earth to do whatever this is and stay out of it, but clearly I can't. Let's settle this once and for all. Maybe we should! I'm sick of your... Well, I can't think of anything right now, but when I do... Oh, I'm terrified! All right, enough! I understand that there's a lot of unresolved issues between the two of you, but a fight won't help with that. Let's settle this like adults. Welcome to the solar system's first Who's a Better Friend to the Earth competition! Today's contestants, Venus and Mars. That's not even what we were arguing about. Yeah, because if it were, I'd beat you by default. You know what, Venus? Being a good friend is more than just hanging out with someone, okay? It's also about helping them improve as, you know, planets. Oh, and you think turning your back to your friend makes you the righteous one? Please. <laughs> I'm talking here. Let's start with the first contest, the one that got this competition rolling, the solar system's favorite ball game, Asteroid Dodgeball. I've never understood that game. Does it have points or goals? Well, from how I understand it, they just chuck rocks at each other and whoever gets hit first loses. Oh! Face it, Mars. I may have never played this game before, but we both know I'm bigger and stronger than you. If you think being bigger gives you an advantage, then you're dumber than I thought. I'll show you dumb! Interesting. Venus is attracting asteroids at a much stronger rate. He sure is! What's going on? Well, Venus is much denser than Mars and thus has a higher gravitational pull. That also means that the asteroids have a much easier time hitting him as soon as they enter his gravitational field. It's like he's pulling them in. Oh, so he's the underdog! Kinda makes me want to root for him. Go, Venus! Oh! He's using his gravity to pull them into orbit just like moons. But with their strong velocity, they'll be flying right back at Mars. Whoops! Oh, hey! How did that happen? That settles it! Round one goes to Venus. What, really? What, really? That, that's awesome! Woohoo! <laughs> I knew I was better at this! Take that, Mars! You gotta be kidding me. You didn't even- Sorry, Mars. Venus won fair and square. You gotta try harder if you wanna prove that you're the better friend. Ugh, why do I even bother? Time for our second contest. Welcome to my Goldilocks zone for our second contest. If you wanna be my friend, seriously rethinking that one right now. Seriously evaluating that one right now. You gotta be a lot like me. So let's find out who's more hospitable to life. How are we supposed to know that? We're both dead worlds. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Astro Dude almost died on both of us. Well, ask Astro Dude which one of you killed him less than, I guess. You really are making these up as you're going along, huh? Chew, go find Astro Dude. Hey, Earthling! What the, oh, oh, it's you. What is it this time? I'm getting ready for a mission. This is more important than some dumb Earthling mission! It really isn't. Yes, it is. We need you to settle which one of us is more hospitable for life! Uh, all right. Well, you're both not really hospitable for life. I mean, I almost died of asphyxiation, poisoning, and just general cold on Mars. And I almost died of, well, basically anything, but especially the heat on Venus. Well, heat is nicer than cold, though, right? Doesn't life need heat? 
it's all about balance. That's what Earth's Goldilocks zone is about. Although Venus is kinda also inside of it. But there is still a reason why us Earthlings have been looking at Mars as a future home over Venus. Venus is just too hot. Your atmosphere keeps all of the CO2 inside, causing an intense greenhouse effect. Mars might be cold, but it doesn't melt our equipment. So while you're both bad for life, one of you is impossible for life, even in a protective suit. So what you're saying is... You're not the best holiday destination, Venus. You're kind of the worst for us. Uh, no offense. Well, that settles it. I'm better for life. Hooray. Congratulations, Mars. You might win this one yet. He won't. So what's up next? I don't know yet. I honestly thought Mars would win both of these, so I didn't think of a third one. What? Are you kidding me? No reason to get upset. That only shows how good you are at this. I'll think of something. Uh, let's meet here again, same time tomorrow, for the final challenge. I'll figure something out. Ugh, fine. Until tomorrow, then. You might as well stay home! There's no way you're beating me! Hey, Earth. What are you doing? What are you talking about? This is the Who's a Better Friend to the Earth competition. Did you not listen? Well, I did, but why are you doing that? They just had a little argument. Well, apparently, little arguments are super important now. When I had a little argument with Titan, the moon and Mars didn't want to hang out with me anymore. So, is this your elaborate plan to get his friendship back? Look, best case scenario, Venus and Mars fight amongst themselves to be my friend. And worst case scenario, you lose all of your friends. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. You'll see, tomorrow we'll end this contest and the best planet will have the honor to be my best friend. Just you wait. All right, you do you, Earth. So, are we ready to get started? Just a moment. Venus is about to show up, I'm, I'm sure of it. Or he won't. Uh, maybe Venus is the better planet for not playing along with this. L listen, Earth, I've been- No! No talking! But if Venus isn't coming, then I guess that means that he loses by default. Hey, guys. What are you doing here already? Earth said tomorrow, same time. That's now. No, it's not! It's way too early! Are you trying to cheat, Mars? Cheat? For this? Hey, calm down. I'm sure you just got your time zones wrong. Time zones? Well, a day is the time it takes for a planet to spin all the way around its axis, right? For Mars and me, that's almost the exact same time. How long is a day for you? Uh, about 5,832 hours. So, we met up really early for you then, huh? Yeah, I really want to win this. I can see that. Unfortunately, that still means that Mars won. You didn't even show up for the contest. What? I did exactly what you told me to do. I'm sorry, friend. This is a competition. There's always a loser. But congratulations to Mars for winning the esteemed title of being my best friend. Oh, stop it with this whole best friend thing. I have had it with you. Now, I thought this was going somewhere that you could change, but you've made this all about yourself again, just like with Titan. You make us fight it out with your favorite sport, you make a show who's closer to your hospitality, and you drag Venus into this just, just for what? Validation? What? No, you got it all wrong. I was trying to show you that you're actually a lot like me, and I don't care what you wanted to show. What you did show is who you are. My water may kill Earthlings if they drink it, Venus might have heavy metal pools on his surface, but we're both not nearly as toxic as you! Mars, stop! Well, uh, I guess that makes you the winner by default. Uh, congratulations, new best friend. You're only friends with me for validation? Of course not, Venus. And now stop worrying and let's play some asteroid dodgeball. Wait, Venus, where are you going? This wasn't a real friendship, was it? Well, of course it was. I need you, Venus, because you, you stabilize my axis and keep me habitable, uh, but, but also as a friend. Oh, please, I, I can't be alone. What am I doing wrong?